Hey. Custom servers for the console version of Rust. It's happening in 2023. I know. It's been a long time coming. We're going to be going over what we do know, some estimations, a framework of like what's coming, what to expect. Things like cost, which will be an estimation, uh, tools, timeline, another estimation, UI, and layouts. And we'll be able to do things like build target practice servers, PVE servers, solo duo trio servers, that's a big one, and 2x and 3x servers. If you're watching this as a short and you'd like to see the full video, you can at the bottom of the screen tap where it says full video or click in the pinned comment or in the description. Or if you're here in the video, just stick around. I'm Jade Monkey. We're going over those Rust custom servers for the console version for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Next Generations, and everything in between. All right, 2023 is the big year. Lots of stuff going on here. Lots of stuff to cover. We have a lot of estimations still, but I think, and we might as well cover this first, when this comes in as the full version, I think we'll have a better idea, if not an actual announcement from Double Eleven. Maybe even a date or an estimation. They have been a lot better with giving us communication these days, which I am very fond of. At the beginning of the year, not so much, but now they seem to be giving us more of that intel, which is great. Here's why Power Surge is a big deal. Roughly, this is going to hit full branch on, uh, was it, first quarter 2023? The reason is there's a lot of dependencies inside of Power Surge that really link up to custom servers. This needs to run stable enough for them to be confident about the types of memory or the amounts, excuse me, of memory that's going to be inside of custom servers. And that equals to, like, the price, and they need to make sure it's, like, a stable amount. Anyways, without getting too into depth with that, I think we're going to hear something after that comes out. So, and again, we still don't know. Just know that uh, we have a separate team working on this, and when it's ready, it will just kind of drop. It's not going to be on the same cycle that we're used to. And if you're not, if not familiar with what that cycle is, those blocks or cycles can be roughly two to four months, and it's about a three-month average, and that's for content blocks. So because of that, I'm kind of thinking custom service is going to float around February to April. Again, very loose. This can definitely change, but just that's kind of where I'm set my eyeballs at and we'll see you know maybe it's sooner maybe it's later hopefully it's it's sooner they have no reason to hold this back this is a revenue stream for the for them so let's not forget that but okay so let's go over some of the pieces here um so now that we have like a, a loose estimate but again just my opinion a uh, very very loose so we've had a lot of progress over the year and some of it was kind of shrouded in secrecy but if you're paying attention you could really see what was going on and I know you probably saw this in another video, but still, this is worth mentioning. Oil rig was the first big test. If you kind of read between the lines, you got to see some of the server tools that they were using, like queue skips, things like uh, over in the fishing village, they started to see more admin tools, things where more of the admins were flying around and managing the situation, more of those custom layouts. And the most sophisticated test that happened later on this year yeah, later this year, was a cargo ship test. Very sophisticated. We had PvE zones mixed with a moving PvP zone, the cargo ship. And it all, like, we were 100% correct. Those things are actually going to be inside of the, uh, the controls for custom servers. Another thing to mention about custom servers is they did say they're going to be working on this over time. So if some of these options aren't in initially, I have the confidence that if enough people want it, they're going to be adding that type of stuff if it's in the scope of uh, possible. I truly believe that. And again, uh, once this revenue stream kicks up, I think we're going to see a lot of changes here. Okay, so some of the things that are going to be really useful, and it's worth mentioning because we're going to be a part of this. Uh, we're going to have an, like an event server for us, and we're going to have a bi-weekly server. We'll be streaming from it. We'll be doing all kinds of things, things like raid events, things like arenas like this that you're seeing here. Let me take a drink. Um, I don't think we'll be hosting solo duo servers. There'll be enough of those. Unless we have like a huge demand, but we'll have to have like admins for it. It'll be 2x and 5x servers and stuff, which will be great. There'll be so many servers to pick from. So, again, if you don't want to spend the money for the custom servers, I get that. You can always join our bi weekly servers. I'm telling you, it's the most popular version of Rust. If you've been playing, you've been doing like weeklies, you're like, man, that's too fast. If you've been doing monthlies, you're like, man, that's stale and they don't like, it's too long and they don't wipe it often enough, like hard wipe it. Well, bi weeklies are the answer, I'm telling you. For those of us that have lives, go to work, go to school, or both, it's where it's at. So we'll be doing stuff like that for sure. Uh, build arenas. Uh, we'll be doing like PvP arenas, and like I said before, we'll be doing like those attack arenas. And you know, if there's enough people on the server, we might just be like the camera and the spectator and kind of swoop around like on a live stream. So to kind of watch and be a, a bird's eye view of like the raids and stuff, I think it'd be great. Uh, PvE servers. A lot of people have been asking for that. And let's not forget, 
it'd be a good place to test builds or just become acclimated to the game if you're a new player. And some of the things that do reflect that here, and this is some of the stuff that they did recently share with us, and I do appreciate that. You can already see here I have them underlined. We have the PvE, as we talked about, bi-weekly, the hottest version. Uh, we have trios, solos, and then aim assist servers. I thought that was quite interesting. Uh, there's no aim assist anywhere on the official servers, but we can enable it if we want to. Uh-huh. Interesting. And it's cool that we have the filter system here, so it'll be wicked easy to find the server that you're looking for. And this does line up with the PC version. We do have this currently for us. Okay, on to the cost. Now, this is very floaty, and it, a lot of this can change, and I'm going to kind of put like a ballpark, but we really have no idea what it's going to be. I don't even think they know. Again, they have to make sure that the memory consumption is at a good level and the performance is good. But anyways, uh, there is rumors that we'll be able to buy it with Rust coins. We'll be able to buy it with regular currency as well. But what I thought was interesting, and this could definitely change, with the initial piece, it said we had two different price points here, the standard and performance, which would be a nice way to cut it up. And here's why. So if you um, if you think about this, Face Punch owns and has made Face or um, Rust, okay? They're the ones that made it. So Double uh, Eleven is the port studio, so you have a lot of hands in that cookie jar. You've got Sony and Microsoft and Double Eleven and Face Punch and the cost of actually running the server. So inherently, it's never, it's never going to be the same cost as the PC version. So just get that out of your head. It's almost always higher. I can't think of a time where it wasn't. And think about this. I think the price point's going to be somewhere around or close to um, or the exact price of things like a Conan server, an Arc server, a DayZ server. It'll be like that. I'm almost positive. So just to kind of expect that. And if it's lower, great. You know what I mean? Cause it's just... The console version of these servers are always more expensive. That's just kind of how it goes. Again, this is me speculating, but let's be real. We played a lot of these survival games. We kind of know how it goes at this point, right? Right. Okay, so here's the really exciting stuff. And again, we covered this when we were talking about the cargo ship test. Very exciting. And we did. We speculated on this pretty early on, but here it is. I was going to say in black and white, but in orange and like a dark gray. We've got the permission list, which is beautiful. Things we can enable, we can spawn with items, that's a, that's a kit. We can also give people items, server-wide gifts. We saw that all during the cargo ship test. Zoning, which is also super hot. Teleportation, that's pretty standard. No clip and G mode, also pretty standard for admins. But here's something else that's really jammy. Ready? We've got the breakdown. Yes, admins, mods, VIPs, and band. And you can go through and actually, like, like line item these people there's like a type category here too so uh and it's also worth mentioning when we do our own custom servers we're going to have vips that'll be they'll essentially be the members of the channel and it's like a thank you for the people that have gone above and beyond to support but i mean it's always a huge support when uh, it's anybody that's on the channel so you know i don't want to sell your you know sell you guys short or anything but you know yeah so we appreciate it uh, so yeah, any memberships are on the channel will be the VIPs, excuse me. I don't know how we're going to implement that quite yet. We'll kind of let you know as we get closer, as we start to see more of this information. But it's just a nice thank you for people that have gone above and beyond that can uh, support the channel. So yeah, it's awesome. We've got mods. We'll have banned. Mods will be a big part of this. If you're going to be doing solo duo trio servers, admins will obviously be, bi be a big deal. So lots of stuff cooking here. Things are looking really good. So I think once Power Surge comes in, I think we're really going to have a better picture as to what's going on. 2023 is going to be an exciting year. And again, with Power Surge on the cusp, might I steer you towards the sneaky trap base, the sneakiest of sneaky trap bases. We'll put it up on the end screen now. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Drop that subscribe and that like. Love you. Bye.